Okay, so let's uh, let's put this tent up. So I've rolled it out, and uh, real quick, I'll just go around and do it one more time. So you want to stake, stake it out. You can use the uh, the stakes that you did with the uh, ground sheet if you want to. That's fine. Or you can put a separate one if you uh, feel you're really going to need the strength for a storm or something. Use a uh, separate stake. Once your uh, ground sheet is put down and your tent is stable, next thing you do, we'll move over here and now we're going to inflate this tent. This is a manual air pump. You have two choices. There's both an electric pump, which is embarrassingly easy, and then there's this manual pump, which is incredibly easy. So all we do is we put that in the place there, tighten it. There's a... There's a uh, I think uh, I can't remember the term of this, but it shows me the pounds per square inch here. So that as I'm pumping, this is a dual action pump. What I mean by that is when I'm pulling up, air is going in. When I'm pushing down, air is going in. And I'm watching, uh, this is both black, green, and then red. The green says I'm in the zone of 7 to 9 PSI, pounds per square inch. Just about there. Now one thing I do is once I get to a point where it's up, I go ahead and stake out the back. You don't have to. I don't want it too tight. I just want to stabilize the tent a little bit. All right. So that's the back, the sleeping zone. I just want to seal that up. I just have to tell you, in almost 50 days of glamping with air tents, I have never had to put more air in a tube, and I've never had an air, uh, I've never had a tube puncture or have a hole. These things are commercial grade, industrial grade, very strong. This particular tent has three air beams. This is a starter glamping tent. I think there's air tents. Well, there's air tents that you can't stand up in, but uh, this is for glamping. Standing up, entertaining. <laughs> All right. Pretty good right there. Pull that forward, stabilize that. Do I have a do I have a stake? I'll find one. And all I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm not to locking it in, I'm just stabilizing the tent to make sure this is where I want it, how I want it. All right, last air beam. There's different uh, valves for different kinds of uh, tubes. I'm using this particular valve. Let me get this in here right. I mean, it just really couldn't be any easier. Can you imagine trying to figure out how to put all these poles together and, and uh, sort them out and if it's dark out or trying to deal with it? All right.
And there we have the air beam tent inflated and actually guide out at this point. Next thing to do is we're going to put on the eyebrow canopy. So I've just put up uh, an inflatable air tent and uh, hope you enjoyed seeing how quick that was. Did it by myself. I actually was talking through a lot of that, so it probably took me four minutes, four minutes plus to inflate that. Now I am going to put on the eyebrow. This is optional. You don't have to do this, but I am going to go ahead and set this up just to show you how it works. This is the eyebrow poles. This is very typical of the metal poles that you get in a regular metal pole tent. Once you set the poles together, all you do is simply weave it through. this part and then there's a place right here where it locks in seal like that come down over here oh that came out keep a little pressure on that move it over here and then the same thing lock that and now um, I've got a nice cover for the front Guy line that one out just to create some stability again. Now at this point, your tent uh, is good to go. I'm going to unstrap the door here just to show you. There's a full panel door. It's a beautiful day outside. You want, to, want lots of air. You want to use this as a veranda. You just keep this part open. And at night, though, if you want to uh, make sure you don't have. Uh, You don't want bugs and things in, or you want to seal up for privacy. There you go, right there. Now, you're pretty much ready to go glamping. The only last thing is to make sure you put out some sort of nice welcome mat to let people know you're ready for glamping. You can see uh, this tent, what makes it so nice, uh, besides structurally, I'm six foot two, so I can stand right here uh, to the edge you got beautiful clear windows on both sides. You've got a full clear window on that side, as uh, you'll see in my other videos. There's uh, a full mesh over there. Now, you do whatever you want to uh, trick things out. For privacy, you've got a choice of having the curtains all the way down, or you can Velcro them part way up or you can velcro them all the way up and you can do that all the way around so that uh, no one can see in at all so that's uh, that's the tent now uh, I do recommend go ahead and using the stakes anchoring down here anchoring down in the front Go ahead and put those stakes to give a little more stability for the tent. But that is the Airbreen 3.